Space Explorers between the lines in three, two, one, go! Round three has begun here on Einstein Mass in the Sandstorm period of match number seven. Burt with a very consistent sandstorm mode here as they place a hatch panel onto the cargo ship, head back to their loading station to retrieve one more and place it on the far side Blue Alliance rocket. That will help them get out in front 31 to 26, now under teleoperated control. First defense of the match taking place on the near side of the field. The Blue Alliance robot, team number 862, the Lightning Robotics team, coming into enemy territory now to try and slow down the Celtic scoring machine. Team number 5406, now with a cargo in their control, trying to get around the defense, being pushed sideways. Their alliance partners, 930 from Iguanago, unimpeded on the far side, able to score in the cargo ship. They head back to recollect score again. Fast scoring mechanism there from 9.30 as Red takes the advantage, 55 to 48. Team number 4003 here, the Trisonics team for the Blue Alliance, now operable in this match, allowing their teammates to head on defense. Trying to bring it back here, 133 working in tandem on the far side of Primus, the green machine from Standish, Maine, looking to fill up this Blue Alliance cargo ship. 60 seconds left, it's close, 71 to 60. Red Alliance only has one more bay that they can fill with cargo in the middle of the field. That's gonna be delivered by team number 930 here as the scoring shifts to the Rockets for the Red Alliance. Just over 45 seconds left, Red and Blue installing a hatch panel on the third level of their respective Rockets, 930. Red Alliance, if they want to attempt the double climb. 133 is up and ready to go. Here comes McGuanago. 930 for the Red Alliance is up as time expires. Please, please tell me now. Alliance here, a score of 120 to 99. The Archimedes Division taking match number seven here on Einstein Mass. Round Robin match number eight here on the energy field.